Build to-do list app using Vite with React.js Redux Tolkien and Tailwind CSS, less than 20 minutes. First open new empty folder in the versus code, then open new terminal. Create the V app by running yarn create vite.slash. Then choose React as framework. And select JavaScript as variant. When the creation is done, let's set up Tailwind CSS. You can get full Tailwind's installation and set up guide link in the description. When we done the Tailwind setup, let's build the app. In this app we need some icons, so install React icons. Then in the app JS import plus and delete icons from React icons. The JSX structure will be header with some text and unordered list to display task. When we done the structure let's style.
and this is what it looks when we done the styling. We need when checkbox is clicked to set the text line through with only tailwinks. So add the input complete ID. and peer slash complete class. Then add the label peer checked slash complete colon line through. We need when the plus button is clicked to pop up add task modal. So create components folder, then create add task.jsx file. The structure is heading text and close button and input and the add button with plus icon. Then style it. This component it has to be absolute position to make the modal show top of everything. In the app.js import use state hook. Then declare a new state variable, which will call add task modal the initial value will be false because we don't need the modal to open at first time. Open curly braces write the state variable to and symbols and the component this means when the state is true the modal it has to be displayed. To close the modal we need to update the state and the state is in the app.js. We need to pass the state updater in the modal as prop when we calling it then use the prop inside the modal. Create close handle function then update the state to false. In the delete button on click call the handle function. Now it's Redux Toolkit part. To make things work properly you can also get this link in the description. 
So first install Redux Toolkit and React Redux. When you are using Redux Toolkit you need store file, or you can call it whatever you want. Create Redux folder inside the folder, create store.js file. Then, in the main.jsx import the store we created in provider form, React Redux. Put the provider around the app and pass the store as prop. There is something called create slice is an API from Redux toolkit so import. Then create add task reducer with create slice. Create slice requires name and initial state. In our case we need two reducer actions, add task reducer action and remove task. Action.payload is the data that your reducer will use to update the state. In the remove reduces we using index like id. Then export the actions and reducer itself. In the store.js, import the reducer function and add it to our store. By defining a field inside the reducer parameter. Now we need to handle the input text. Create input text use state. An input handle function. and call the function in the onChange event. Import use dispatch from React Redux hook and add action. The dispatch hook returns a reference to the dispatch function from the Redux store. You may use it to dispatch actions as needed. Create add task function. Inside the function dispatch the add action and the action payload will be the input text. Then update the modal state. To close the modal call the function in the add button on click event. Now the task is added but we are not displaying let's display. In the app.js import use dispatch hook and remove action and use selector hook. Allows you to extract data from the Redux store state using a selector function. Create new variable called tasks and extract data from the Redux store state using a selector function. This task is an array of tasks to display these tasks let's map the array inside the unordered list.
Create remove handle function then dispatch the remove action. The call the function inside the button on clip and pass the index as a parameter. Now we done. Thanks for you watching. Make sure to subscribe the channel, like the video, comment.